Hi there, I'm Grateful Ted. Thanks for being here because I really appreciate it. Today was a relatively nice day. As you may know, it's been pretty dang cold out here in Central Oregon. And so uh, it was a nice sunny day. Um, it's, uh, my watch says it's 51 degrees Fahrenheit. I thought it was a, a good day to get outside. And I've come to one of my favorite places here called White River Falls Park. It's a state park here. And if you know Tai Valley, Tai Valley is about four miles that way. And when you turn to go to Tai Valley, you turn in the opposite direction to get to uh, the White River Falls here. And I think you'll agree that it's a pretty spectacular falls. So thanks for, again for being here. Let's check it all out. Now, if you're coming from the south, like me, it's about, uh, I'd say, two hours from Bend, and you have to come up 97. That's Mount Jefferson there. You come up uh, 97, and then you take 127. You'll eventually come to Moppin here. You cross the bridge. You go up the hill and through the little town. If you're coming from Portland, uh, you go towards the Dalles and then down the Dalles. Now, you can see here that there's very few trees. It's mostly just grass. Tree here or tree there. And that's mostly how it looked to the people in wagon trains as they came through on the Oregon Trail. So when traveling on Highway 127 and you come to the Tai Valley turnoff, which uh, is you would turn to the south, you want to turn to the north, which is the opposite direction, obviously. And in this case, we are going to turn to the right instead of the left since we're coming from the south. And then it's just a four or five minute drive down to where you can park at the park. The park proper is closed for the winter. That gate is locked. You can get by it by that little side area over there. But the park department, it's a state park, and the park department really doesn't come down here in the winter. Today it's uh, mid-March, mid and uh, spring is still several weeks away. I can tell you that uh, after using it, that the parks department hasn't cleaned out that <laughs> outhouse since since they lock the gate. But during the summer, that gate's unlocked and you can drive all the way down there and you can see those buildings down there. That's, uh, that's the, the restroom proper. And you can get in here when the gate is locked and the parks department knows that there's no problem going in and we're gonna go in. You can drive clear down here. There's the restroom over there. And you can park right here. And they do not want you swimming in the hazardous areas. There's usually a bit of a, a breeze blowing down the canyon there which is nice in the summer, because in the summer, it's not unusual for it to be over 90 degrees here. This trail goes down past that uh, 
relic from an old powerhouse and you might be able to see it go clear down to that old house down there which is also part of the powerhouse. Canyon is pretty. As you can see, this was created by basalt eons ago. And uh, I might just take a hike down there, depending on how my balance is. Reminding you I'm well into my 70s. And then we have the waterfall. Now the last time I was here, which was a few years back, that area over there was also part of the waterfall. Um, the creek, Thai Creek I think it is, or oh, actually it's the White River. White River had enough water in it to uh, have a fall all across the, the wall of, of the basalt there. My understanding is, is that uh, during the height of the summer, this whole falls is just a trickle. I've never been here during then. I'm usually here in the mid-spring or mid-fall. So this is a nice steep little section of the trail. Got to be careful at my age. And then there is a lower part of the falls. Now when the snow melt happens, that part up there is also part of the falls and it all just comes down this way. So they don't want you swimming down there at all. The currents are too much. No kayaking either. As you might imagine, it's both an attraction and a danger. No rock climbing. Yeah, I have to get up there. It'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, here we go.
so that's White River Falls. I hope you enjoyed it. If you made it this far, give yourself a pat on the back because you deserve it. And if you like this, give it a thumbs up because that helps other people find it. And please subscribe because I really need subscribers. Until then, we'll see you next week.